Hello lovelies, Nightshade here and I'm back with another video. In this video, I honestly didn't expect to do this. I knew that I was going to hit V19 really soon and when I was thinking about what exactly to purchase, I thought, okay, I'll buy some star gems because anytime that we have an event, there are always packs that have to be purchased with star gems specifically. So I bulked up on that. And then I thought, well, what else do I spend on? I don't really want to level up any reflections. And like, I don't really have any reason to actually buy anything. But then I thought, wait, wait, you are still missing Lilith's suit. You know, that you are beautiful looking ruin suit. So I was like, hmm, why don't we try to see if you can actually get the two items that you're missing? And while you're at it, try to complete that pavilion because I am missing three items from this pavilion. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and try it out. So I purchased two of the $49.99 packs for the Sea of Fantasy. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now in order to celebrate. Because yeah, you know, I hit V19, it's almost my birthday. Like, let's go all out, let's go ham, let's have a party. So yeah, <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. I have a total of 101 tickets and I am missing three items. Those items include Lilith's hair, her eyelashes, and I believe an SSR item, or is it UR? Oh, it's UR, the shoes, Temptress. I'm hoping that I can finish this pavilion, but with my luck, I hikey doubt it, but I do really want to finish Lilith's suit. So let's go ahead and start our pulls, see what we can get. Ugh, crossing fingers for at least the hair, at least the hair. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah, I got the eyelashes right away. <laughs> ah, okay. I cannot believe that. Okay. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. One more piece. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if that's like a blessing or a curse. Oh, another you are. Oh, I already have it. Sad. Oh, I got a Leonid though. I could use that to upgrade him. So since we've been getting URs multiple times in the first two pools, I feel like our next pools will be nothing but regular SSR items. Ooh, <gasps> oh my God, if it's a hair, ah, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, dude, I can't. I can't. Mandatory screenshot. So if you're watching this video and you see me do- Oh no! What a Oh wait, no. Yes! I can die happy. Wow. Okay. So now all I would need would be a Lilith reflection so I can awaken her. I don't know if I will get that. Imagine my luck if I do though. Like, holy cow. That would be crazy. So all we're missing now are the shoes, the UR shoes. What are the chances of me actually getting that though? Like, come on. Yeah, no UR items, but like, dude, I completed the suit. What more do I want? Pull one more just for extra measure. And that's it. Oh my God. I cannot believe I completed the suit. I am so freaking happy. Oh wait. Is it going to let me? Oh my god, I do have an extra one to awaken her. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, awaken. I don't even care. Ah, look at her. Oh, I die, I die, I die. I am so happy. This best day ever, yo. Best day ever. Ah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And like, sexiness is one of my worst, like, colors like oh my god that recolor hair <gasps> oh i love it and the dress ah! <laughs> dude i am so happy right now oh my god okay so what is going on did i not oh i forgot to claim the box 
So we get 125 memory keys, we get 50 time travel, 500 gems, and 50 SR memory keys. So we get to finally, oh, 500 more gems? Crazy. And we archive. Yes, I love this. I am so happy. Oh my god, I climbed to 18th place. Yes. I've been like trying to rank up so hard guys like you don't even understand I went from being like 44 and now I'm 18 like not right now obviously over time I started doing that so I'm 18th place my collection is 22,872 point collections at least so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the arena I was at 403 competence and I jumped all the way up to 410. I did, however, upgrade Loen to level 80. I upgraded Hestia's Call of Reflection to level 4. And yeah, so I'm at 410. Let's go ahead and dress up and see how much I change. So this is for freshness. That should stay the same. Yes. And now for, okay, so I was like at a 48 here. Now I'm at a 53, which is awesome. And Lowen stays the same. I'm at 59. Great. So we were at 410, right? 415? That's crazy. Oh my God. That is so awesome. Okay, so I didn't quite expect to complete Lilith's suit. I'm actually pretty much in awe. So let's go ahead and see what she looks like in the dressing room. This is my current avatar. I think she is stunning, pretty much on brand aesthetics with me. I love how the hair pairs with the beanie actually super awesome and that makeup stunning okay so i'm getting off track the reason that we're here is to see what the sets look like on different skin tones moving on to the original suit voice of desire this is the base skin tone as you may have already seen on her when we first started playing the game and she's doing her little dance passionate rhythm glowing ardor and Moonlight Tune. I love her. I love her so much. Like, look at the way the stars sparkle. Her armband says Lilith. This suit is based off of Ruin, so her bow itself looks like circuits, like sending information from one end to the other. It's just glorious. And look at the hair, like the highlights of the hair, the different colors, the sheen. Here's what the recolor looks like up close. Look at that. It's like a unicorn dream, an electric unicorn dream. So, so stunning. Once again, the circuits on the bow, the bow's a little bit lighter so you can see it a little clearer. Her hair ties, they're gorgeous. The highlights on this hair once more. Everything is so magical. I love it. This is what she looks like on the base skin tone. Passionate rhythm. Glowing ardor. And moonlight tune. So now that we've covered the basics of the outfit, I want to go ahead and touch base on something that you guys might not have known. There is this feature that will be coming to the game called Inspiration Redesign. It is not implemented yet, and it will not be implemented till many more months to come. This feature will be found under Dreamcube, and it will be right next to Decomposer. Perhaps the places will swap, but in this feature, you can actually recolor a lot of the current outfits that we have in game. Like I know that you can already recolor outfits by awakening the reflection, but this feature allows you to further recolor items to a third color. Let's go ahead and see what Lila's suit looks like. This is what she looks like. I'm a little sad that it is not the full suit. Like, I would have loved to see those ponytails black, the ribbons red. Like, I feel like the pink kind of clashes with the suit. It's gorgeous in black and red. 
the cap too like i don't know about you but it makes me think of like a halloween costume a demon specifically or like a devil like i don't know those colors are always portrayed together red and black it, it makes you think of lust it makes you think of just wanting i don't know how to describe it i did this whole series on my instagram sometime back where i specifically covered colors and color theory basically what certain colors remind you of like what do they make you feel you should totally go ahead and check it out if you haven't already you might learn something new anyways yeah, this is what she looks like, guys. I don't know. What do you think? Do you like it? Which color do you like more? Do you like the red? Do you like the pink? Do you like the black and pink? Let me know. I totally want to see what you guys think. So that is all that I have for you today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and watching me wail as per usual. I like to do these types of videos because I know that some of you get to live your life vicariously through me and that's just so much fun. I personally like to watch videos of people pulling in pavilions and just wailing to their heart's content because I get so hyped up. Like, I like to see what they're going to get next and I'm rooting for them. We also just hit 700 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> I've been waiting for this. You guys have been so nice to me, so sweet to me, and many of you are always so supportive. I can't thank you guys enough, honestly. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but I'm not really the type to be like, oh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I know that I probably should because, you know, well, it's YouTube. If I want to, you know, get more views and I want to like appeal to the masses, that's something that I have to say because people genuinely sometimes forget to subscribe, forget to comment. But I also don't want to be that person to like tell you what to do. I don't know. It sounds so weird, but this is just how my mind works. So I just kind of leave it up to you. And if you want to do any of those things, then, you know, you totally can. And I appreciate all of you who do. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And as well, of course, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.